Welcome back to the Heat Wave Show tonight, your favorite afternoon show on radio. Radio with a different sensitivity, 104.9 FM. I right now, tonight. I want you to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to listen because guess what? After the highly anticipated Sting 2022 returned after seven years and saw the likes of many new acts gracing the stage, the popular Boxing Day concert is still buzzing with viral videos reenacting one of the feature clashes with internet sensations Queenie and Amari. Well, joining us in studio right, right now is the self-acclaimed DJ Mona Lisa Amari. Welcome to the Sun City Airwaves, Amari. Yeah, thank you. So and welcome nice to, to Jamaica. Oh, welcome you. to Portmore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking lovely in her pink, I gotta say, from head to toe, including her nails. Now, let's get into it right away, no delay. Now, let's talk about Sting. Yes. Now, a well-renowned event such as Sting confirmed you. Walk us through the preparations for this event. There was no preparation whatsoever. Oh, star of the star. Or Amari. Yeah. You know, because I... Uh, everything got through for me at the last minute. My flight was cancelled. I had to take three planes. So hold on, hold on, Amara. Let's yeah. go step by step. Okay. Because we knew they confirmed you. Yeah, they before, confirmed but me. your arrangements were last minute. Last Let's talk minute. about that. Because the fans requested me at the last minute. The and, Sting fans yes, request. Uh -huh. And the pressure was on the promoters. You know, and so they had to get our tickets and everything. It was hard to get tickets because everyone was coming down for the event. Mm -hmm. When they eventually got my tickets, you know, and um, one of the flights was canceled. So um, I took one plane to Vegas, one plane to Florida, then could not reach Jamaica. Uh -huh. But the Sting promoters worked their magic, got me a ticket, and um, I reached Jamaica. So all that traveling was done on Christmas Day. When the I day landed, before the event? I, landed, I, I started out from California mm -hmm. the day before the event, which is Christmas. I arrived in Jamaica the day of the event, and like two hours after, I had to leave from Kingston straight to Ocherias for the show. So Amari got no rest, not to mention the night before packing. No rest whatsoever. Then when I reached the show, mm -hmm. I had to wait another six hours to perform. Well, on the length, I not like that. You have Amaria wait six hours. Well, I didn't mind because you know they saved the best for last. Oh, there we go. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You know, in this industry, you just got to be patient, you know, so I, I didn't mind. No, I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned about the industry. Now, you have become an internet sensation, I believe. Yes. Who many do find as comical, including myself. Yes. Uh, so, far, so for you to grace a stage such as Sting, which is known for its hardcore nature, what was the experience like for you? Well, that was my first time being on stage for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. So... I, I was more concerned with would I be able to angle the crowd. So although I came out in a rowdy way, I was like, wow, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And then I bought it like a bit too far. I was like, wow. <laughs> and, you know, and, and not only that, I've been sick for over a year after I suffered from an incident accident. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was up there and I was like, wow, I can actually walk in eels on the stage. And then I ran down Queenie. So I was like, I can run. <laughs> you know what I mean? So and hold on, hold on. All this I, running yeah, that I, we saw on the stage, yeah. it was not you preparing to fight. You were just testing no, out the show. No, I was testing out my body. I was like, Mari, you got hold this. Hold on, Amari. You must be bedridden. <laughs> Amari, we yeah. saw you on stage because Sting is known for the clash. You know? yeah. And persons were, and like myself, we were anticipating this clash. Yeah. And we saw you run out on this stage. We had seen a fight, check a fight, no, Queenie. Homegirl all... over here testing no. her shoes. My shoes, my body. I, I was like, are you feeling no back pain? Wow. So I swing at her. And I'm <laughs> like, because, no, this is for real. I told my daughter. I say I didn't feel any pain, I, and it wasn't just the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. I had to go and sting to realize that God had healed me. Mm -hmm. I've been bedridden for over a year, 
You get what I'm saying? So, so speak to us about this experience. You said you were bedridden for a year. Yeah. Due to an incident. What was that? Yeah, incident? I, I was in a store shopping for you know radio stuff and all that. You know, you know, for video shoot, mm -hmm. and um, it so happened that there was a trap door that they had covered with a carpet, so you wouldn't know it was a door. Uh -huh. So um, I was walking past. And the door opened because there was an employer downstairs and he came upstairs. So I, I fell through the trap door in the earth. Wow. And so half of my body ended up in the lower floor, mm -hmm. half on the upper floor, and it totally destroyed me. The doctors say I need five operations. You know, so um, the cuffs on my hands, the, both hands are damaged. The nerves in my back is damaged. My feet is everywhere is damaged except um, my belly. Wow. All right. All right. So yeah. and we're glad you're okay now and you're able to grace the stage like I tell you, of Sting. Right. So it's but let's head back to Sting. Right. Let's talk about the actual clash between yourself and Queenie. Now, right. based on what I saw, Amari, yeah. you came to fight. No I, no, I honestly didn't come to fight. I honest, but that it should have never worn a wedding dress. It brought back bad memories. Hold on, hold on, Amari. You have to talk to us about this. You know? yeah. What do you mean bad memories? Of what? I got married at age 19. Mm -hmm. I had six children for my husband. He left me for another woman. He left me with all my kids to suffer. I ended up losing my children to the government. Didn't see them for 14 years. So she brought back certain memories that I couldn't handle. So it wasn't about hurting her. I was keen on t removing that dress off her because I had no plans to go on stage and look at that dress continuously. I, I, I just have a psychological problem, you know, because I'm also, I also got pregnant so many times in life mm -hmm. that I honestly don't always like to see pregnant women because it reminds wow. me of what I've been Thank through. Right. All right, so let's go step by step. Your intention was not to... All right, all right, hold on. We have to take a quick time signal. We are in studio live now tonight with DJ Mona Lisa Amari. And of course, I know we're talking about Sting. We're going to take a quick time signal and come back with so much more. Care for you. Helping Jamaican residents pay less for medication with the NHF card. The time by the National Health Fund is... 619 um, and we are joined to charge by Amari DJ Mona Lisa and we're talking about Sting 2022. Now Amari you mentioned earlier that you experienced a lot of trauma yes. and that wedding dress that Queenie came out in it brought up back all that kind of trauma. So your intention was yes. not to fight Queenie but because no. she came in the wedding dress it brought the trauma. You're trying to get rid of the trauma yeah, itself. Yeah and I think I think because she was sending across the wrong message, not mm -hmm. to me, not just to me, but to others. It's like marriage is a beautiful thing. It's a happy thing. You know, when we, we have to go through so much and she's, she's broadcasting a message, making it seem as if she's so happy. She got her dewey. And I'm like, it, shut up. It's not all that good. <laughs> but hold on, you know, you know, I just, just ate fakeness. <laughs> Because it's the third time I've seen her gotten married to the same dude. The third time. And I'm like, come on, Edge. What is this? All right. Amari, I get what you're saying, but each person experience is different I in marriage. It's fake. It, so it's fake. Yeah, that's it's your personal the, opinion. It's all over the internet. <laughs> them and them dirty lies. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. It's all over the internet. Exactly. So I just couldn't deal with the fake script. I just couldn't handle it. So you had to get rid of the dress because you're the like, dress. listen, darling. Right. Your wedding, your marriage... Ain't going good. And yeah. Stop Why pretending. Sure because what I hate, she comes online all the time talking about she's married, she got a ring. What about the fans who have so many kids but the man never put a ring on it? I have to fight for them. The single moms who are struggling, who the fathers are disowning the children. And you ain't even got a kid. You ain't you can't even give that man a kid. And you talking about marriage, marriage, marriage when the marriage really and truly do not exist. You know what I'm saying? So I hated the fake script. So then my head started to like reel. Like we, I felt this wheel in my head. And then a boy says, step on the dress. So I step on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask you. Like, what was all that about? Step on the yeah. dress. 
and she was forced to get out of the dress because Amari refused to take her feet off it. When the security guards got my feet off it, then I held on to the dress. And in, in my mind, I said, it's you going to have to strip. You understand? So she had to strip down. But hold on, Amari. Clash. We, we don't stay. I forgot about clash. the clash. Apparently you forgot, forgot about, the, about clash. the clash. Because that's what I wanted to know. It wasn't uh, a no. dress show down. It's all no, about lyrics. I forgot about it. How did you prepare in terms of lyrics for oh the my clash? Gosh. I, if she I, didn't come in the wedding dress, oh how do you God, prepare for that? Stop. Destiny was supposed to perform with me in the background, harmonize for me. I was gonna, I was gonna start the show by saying, um, stop call out my name. When you are trying to do my brain, crab blouse, stop call out my name. When you want to drive me insane, uh, and then I was gonna do rise that deep bangle. Rise that deep bungle, and then I would have done Nico, you mash up my life. So mm -hmm. I had the whole thing planned out, but none of that happened. <laughs> Explain to us why none of that happened. Because after I took off the dress, I realized that the white witch of rose oil had on the veil. Hold on, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. That's the way you're doing it. I can't. So you're saying, yeah, the white witch of rose oil came back. To sting 2022, and you had your thing planned, but yes, she throw you off your game. Throw me off with the wedding dress. Uh huh. So I got rid of the dress. You showing off on me with the veil. So I, so a voice said to me, "Get the veil, Mari." And so I ran for the veil. Kicked it in the crowd. When I look, Miss Thing still have on a crown. I say I'm taking that crown. You know those wedding yeah, crowns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I said. But for some reason, it reminded me of the thorns of Jesus Christ, you know, and I said, I'll wear those thorns. You haven't suffered like I've done. I mean, so many things were running through my mind. And so I took that. I went on the stage to read. Oh, my gosh. I now realize that I calmed down after I put on the crown of thorns. That's when I calmed down. You see, if I hadn't put on the crown of thorns, Thorns, I would have beat her like how I beat Bob House. Okay, so hold and on. And that's why I lost. That's so that's why you lost. That's why I lost. I put on the crown of thorns and then it was right there that I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. And something was saying, keep trying. And so I said, um, I, I I I said a song and then I said, Nico. It didn't even sound like Nico. But I knew that I'd lost my strength, whatever strength was it. Because, you know, Jesus have, have a way of wiping out the past. So by then, you know, I was slowly coming back to myself. Now, Amari, this is something serious. You mentioned about trauma and all of that. Do you believe it was fair for you to be on the sting stage going through all this trauma that, according to you, you believe that Queenie brought back to you? Uh, I wouldn't say Queenie, the dress. The dress itself. The dress. Yeah, because Queenie, let me tell you something, and I don't want to cry. When I looked at Queenie, while I was going through all that anxiety attack and everything, I looked at Queenie and all that, you know, and she said, um, are you crazy? You know, and then um, she, she sang a song for me. She said, um, I love you, you know? Yeah. How did you feel about that? Because I love according to what we saw on stage, yeah. as soon as she sang that, you were ready to attack. <laughs> no, because it was a Barney song. So she said, <laughs> she remind me of the 13 kids <laughs> that, I had to, <laughs> that I had to raise all by myself. Because that's the song that I would sit and sing to my children, my my very children that were taken away by the government. Okay, so Queen, um, I mean, I'm married, my apologies. Yeah. How is it, how, how are you handling all this trauma though? Because you remove all that trauma by being comical, you know, which I do respect, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. But how do you personally deal with all of that outside of the internet? The, the thing that is sad is I used the internet to escape it all, give jokes, give jokes, and never stopped to heal mm. and so the least little thing could throw me off and and then you say but Amari is a nice person 
why did she do this? Why did she do that? But you got to realize that this is a woman who got pregnant like 17 times, had two miscarriages, two abortions, gave birth to 13 children. Um, another woman took away my husband. I've been to Rikers Island, um, which is a prison yeah. in, in, in America, being charged for something that I was not guilty of. I lived on the streets of New York. I lived on the streets of Florida like a homeless person. No one to help me. I had truck, buses, and everything in Jamaica. And whoever had them wouldn't even send $10 to save me. I begged on these streets. You know what I mean? So people are forgetting about all that I've been through. I've been through so much. So is it that what this song is talking about? This song that we're hearing? Um, I pray I actually wrote that when the people in Jamaica were in the lockdown and many of them were like, Mr. Prime Minister, we're hungry. You know, we understand the lockdown, but it's terrible being locked in with no food. And so I was, I pray that you will be okay. You understand? Because I worry about them. But I'm glad that I went through so much because it caused me to have more love and empathy for the people, especially the children, the elderly, and the single mothers, the pregnant women, the pregnant teens, all these people, the non-working father. I have so much love and empathy for them. Now, for persons who might be going through this very same trauma or even worse, what advice would Amari give to them? I would tell you that you ought to live one day at a time. And at no time should you give up on your faith in Jesus Christ. Because he's the only answer. That I, I, I remember being on the street, no food, no food. That's six of us on the street, no food. And I said, Father God, please help me. And I saw a church, and he said, go over to the church and tell them to help you. I went, and they said, sorry. And some were like, let her get out of here. We're having a meeting. We can't talk to you now. And then I went to Burger King with the kids and I sat down. I was tired. I was hungry. We all fell asleep. And then someone ran into Burger King and said, hey, you're the lady who came asking for help? Well, guess what? After you left, my mother-in-law turned to me and said, that's a woman of God and God said to feed her. And they bought us a lot of food and put us in a hotel for two nights. So God is truly amazing. I believe that I do agree. And Amari, uh, oh, somebody's asking on our live on Sun City, did you actually get your children back, the one that were taken from you by the government? No, no, I never got back my children. David is one of my son that his father took him. When I lost the six kids, I said, God, please help me. And I gave birth to my son, and his father later took him so that overly broke my heart, you know, and no, I never got about my kids. Well, I'm so sorry, sorry to hear all that, Amari, and I really hope you do get over this trauma because that's not, we see you and we think it's all gimmicks, it's all joke and games, but yeah. she uses that as a cover because you have a lot of trauma undergoing and I really do hope that you get the help that you need because somebody like you, we do need you. We do need you, you yeah. understand? And so, I, I do believe that um, we need people like Queenie too, but we're, we're, we're both hurting, believe it or not, but um, we're here to do a work. We're on a mission because because of the sting performance, the young people will be able to identify themselves with me. They'll be like, she's cool, she fight on sting. So they'll stop for a minute and at least listen to what I have to say. So God work in mysterious ways is wondrous to, to perform. So let's declare here on Sun City on the Heat Wave Show. There's no beef going on with Amari and Queenie. That was just for sting. No, I that can't was say just for that. Show. We're always beefing. Because she's going to brag that she's found a man. I have yet to find a man. I'm going to curse you out. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Amari. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much yeah. for blessing us here on the Sun City Airwaves. Amari, I wish you all the best in yes. your future endeavors. And I really do hope you get the help that you deserve. Yes. God bless. 
I want to thank you for having me. Big up to all my fans, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and big up to Claude Mills. Wow. So hold on, Amar. What's next for Amar? What can the fans expect next You for know, for one reason or the other, Love Any Pop is interested in me right now because they see that I'm a, I'm a tigress. So hold on, is that exclusive news you're breaking uh, on Sunday? Well, Safari did post me on his page, uh -huh. so I believe that they're watching me. They want to see more of the fierceness. But I always imagined throwing champagne on someone and all that. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> going to <trauma>, and that's <laughs> nice. But I will be representing Jamaica. I, right, I love right. that, I love that. But yeah. thank you so much, Amari. Okay, We're going to chat to Ali. We'll find a way. So, of course, the fans are asking, you want to do it live a cappella? Come let people have a track. Or if you want to do this one on the same minute, run it, Amari. I'll do it. What, what would you like for me to do? What the fans want to hear? They want to hear your DJ voice. They want to hear the DJ voice. Oh, They want to hear the DJ voice. I need an edge yeah, No problem, darling. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Beautiful people, right now you're listening. Right now you're listening to Sun City Radio 104.9 FM. I'm your host, Amari, DJ Mona Lisa. Come on down. I pray by Amari. I'm not the old. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 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 The world is changing on the workshop for you. Diversify your career and gain more from any international service. Yeah, but then one of the other ones. Another one. Stop by the house. In medical assistance, medical tech, pediatrics, and psychiatric nursing. ECG. I want to know if we can put an extra system on stage again. Yeah. We will. We will. We will see you on stage again. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was going to ask that after yeah. the break. Good. No yeah. software supply, no age limit. Well, no, when they were saying that it's going to be a good thing. Good. 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 But things can't continue, so mm -hmm. be ready to tell them when we know. You're right. We have to put a stop to it. What question did you guys want to ask Amari? Thank you. 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 Thank you.